Hey, JC here for RetireCheap.Asia. Today I want to talk about one of my favorite subjects, food. And one of the foods you're going to find a lot of in Thailand because a lot of people like to eat this. Traditionally, you'll get uh, what I'm going to talk about, which is kwitiao. Kwitiao is noodle soup. Noodle soup is a favorite. You can eat it in the morning, you can eat it at night. A lot of stands open up at night to serve it. It's inexpensive. It's about 30, 35 baht. Now, you look at mine, I actually have shrimp in mine. But you can get it with beef, you can get it with pork. Um, I've seen it with crab. You can get it with chicken. Now, it's hard. I, I like mine with chicken, um, boneless chicken, just pieces of chicken, which you got to look for. It's not uh, one of the popular. Thais will eat a lot of pork, so um, it, it's special if you see it with beef because Thais don't eat much beef. If you find it with shrimp, that's really special. If you find it with chicken, pieces of chicken, that's special too. It's a little bit harder to find. Um, but uh, of course, uh, pork's going to be the cheapest. If you can find chicken, that won't be too expensive. But when you get into like uh, beef, shrimp, uh, crab, those will be a little bit more expensive. Now, if you check this one out, check this one out, you're going to have what's called sen. Sen are the noodles. Now, you can quit, you have quit the aisle sen lek. This is sen lek. Sen is the noodle, lek means small, small noodles. You can get sen yai, which is going to be big noodles. You can also get this with um, with egg noodles, yellow egg noodles. Now, also inside here, and you can ask for whatever noodle you want. Inside, you're going to have bean sprouts, mung bean sprouts, um, and a broth, and some garlic as well. Now, because it's got uh, some parsley or cilantro, garlic, and some mung bean sprouts, you're also going to want to flavor it up because. The thing, about, the thing about Thailand and Thai food is almost all restaurants serve the same food, but you're going to find one that you like, the recipe that they use. Um, you're going to have a fried rice place. You're going to have a pad seyu place, uh, which is noodles with soy sauce. You're going to have all these different places where you found their recipe, their cook cooks it the way you like. But with Quick Yow, what's interesting, you're going to have a nice broth in here, which is usually a chicken broth or a pork broth or something like that. But they're going to give you a condiment uh, thing here, a condiment carousel, I call it. But on here, and you're going to be able to make your Quick Yow the way you want it. Now, this is Pik uh, which is uh, a chili, a dried chili. So you're going to put that in. If you want it a little bit spicy, that's how you're going to spice it up. If you want it a little bit sweet, which Thais prefer, uh, you're going to put in some sugar. We're going to have sugar here as well. I prefer not to make it sweet. Now, for salt, everywhere you go in Thailand, they don't, they don't, there's not many places that are going to have salt shakers, but they do have fish sauce. So you can put a little bit of fish sauce in there to add a little bit of salt to it. Remember, these are like the five spices that people like to balance their food with in Thailand and with Asian culture. So you have spicy, you have sweet, you have salty. And over here, you're also going to have nam song, which is a vinegar, which will make it what? That's right. You're going to have a vinegar tasting, which is going to make it a little bit, they call riao, or um, uh, the same as like lemon, which would be um, sour. So this will make it a little bit sour. So you can put a little bit of that in as well if you want to make it sour a little bit. And you're going to be able to actually flavor this up the way you want. So for, for bigger people, they're going to say, well, that's not a lot of soup here. You can actually ask for anything, uh, any kind of dishes if you want them a little bit bigger. He said, he said means a special. And so if you order um, which is goon uh, is shrimp. So it would be noodle soup with shrimp. Senlek is uh, the small noodles. He said, he said will be a little bit bigger bowl with a little bit more noodles. 
I'm not sure if there'll be much more shrimp in it. And you'll be able to get your soup the way you want it. And that's how we eat. Oh, also you're going to eat. Let me show you something else. Chopsticks. Now, it's funny because foreigners come over and we're used to like, well, we want to eat like Asians do. We want to eat with chopsticks. So we go into restaurants and we eat with chopsticks just to show we can eat like Asians do. Well, Thai people don't use chopsticks to eat rice. Now, Chinese do. They'll have a bowl of rice and food, and they'll take the chopstick, take some of the food, put it on their bowl of rice, and scoop it into their mouth with chopsticks. That's the way the Chinese do it. Thais don't eat that way. What Thais use chopsticks for is for noodles, noodle dishes. Now, when I first started doing this, I would use the spoon for the broth, and I would use the, you know, eat the noodles like this with my chopsticks and then eat whatever meat was with the chopsticks as well. If you want to have your soup all over your shirt, that's a great way to do it. If you don't want to have your noodle soup all over your shirt, eat the way Thais do. And what they do is they'll take the noodles and they'll put it on their spoon. And then they'll dip the spoon in and get some broth in. And as you see, basically it's a mouthful. Now I've had people complain, why do you talk with your mouth full when you're, eating, when you're doing these videos? So I'm not going to put it in my mouth and eat, but I'll show you. And that's how you do it. And you get all the food in your mouth and not on your shirt. If you actually try and eat noodle soup with, with the chopsticks like this and you start biting on it, as you're biting and stuff, the noodles are going to start swinging around and you're going to end up with a soup all over your shirt. So that's how to avoid that um, and how to enjoy quick diao soup. There's a lot of choices when it comes to eating in Thailand. This is one of my favorites. It's light. Um, it's hydrating because there's a lot of uh, liquid in it. And so remember when it comes to eating and enjoying Thai food in Thailand, there's always an option. Let's see. Ow.